Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim and this is the third video I'll be making on the review of printer structure, whether it's over designs, under designs or accurately designs. In this video, I'll be making a review about the slab to confirm if the slab also over designs or under designs. The conclusion I drew from the review of the beam is that it accurately designs the beam, it doesn't over design, neither does it under designs. And the conclusion I drew for the column review is that the last columns, the columns at story 1, they are properly designed. However, the columns at the succeeding story, story 2, story 3, story 4 and above, they are usually over designed to a reasonable degree. So that is the conclusion for the column. Now we are going to review the slab if it is over designed or if it is usually under designed or accurately designed. They are going to draw another conclusion for that so let's get into that um let me just go to the plan view now i am going to use um the strip so you just go to uh, modeling and then i'm going to pick the slab strip now i will use the um i won't use the analytical strip i will use the fe strip and then let me put this in x so you go to fe and then i'll be picking this last one that is the fixed band so i'll pick this i can just hold my control so that i can have a straight strip Okay, then I'll do the same for this. I'll hold this like this. And then, same thing for this. Now, I can go back here and then I'll change this to Y. I'll use this same one. Then, I can do this. Now, I'll have to do the same thing for the other story. Let me go to story one and then I will just click on the slab strip. I will use, let's do the one for the X first. It's still in FE strip, so I'll go to FE. I'll use this um, fixed band strip and then I can do the same thing as I did in the last story. If you have to make some adjustments about the extension of the strip, you can make it here. This is 1000, which is the default. You can change it to 500 if you want. You can change it, you know. Just do as you like. All right. So, um, let me just close that. The strip has been added to all of the stories. Now, I will just go to um, analysis and then I will use the FE floor analysis. So, click on FE floor analysis. Um, I will just put this in story 2. You can either run the FE chase down or you do the floor mesh analysis. I prefer to use this. And I'll just click on yes. Um, yes. Now you click on generate model. Alright. And then when it is done generating the model, just close this. Now it is performing the FE slab analysis. You can see it down here. It is performing FE slab analysis. Now the analysis has been completed. That is why it has brought me into the post analysis um, and whatever. So just click this so that I can match the column reports. You can also match the beam reports. Now let's see the analysis results. When you click on that analysis post processing, that means you want to see the analysis results. Okay, so here we are. Let's click on draw slab strip so that we can have it in um, 2D like this. Now I'm going to pick a load combination. I'll pick this first one, which is 1.4G plus 1.6Q. That is um 1.4 of dead load plus 1.6 of live load. Now I'm only concerned about the required steel area. This is the required steel area for the local, and this is for the amber. Okay, the wood and amber. So I will just click on this so I can know the AS required. And then I will use any of the um, the the legend. I will prefer to use the standard or use the user defined. When you use this threshold, it's um it doesn't give you a high. Let me just show you. When you click on threshold, for example, now you see you only have three legend. Okay, so there is it is not that precise. You, you understand? It is not that precise because it only give you three legends, so you can only find your answers between these three legends. Okay, but when you click on the user defined, you can see you have um, about five legends. Okay, and when you use the standard contour, you see you have higher value for that. Okay, so you can either use the standard contour or use the user defined um, contour. So I'll prefer to use this. Okay, 
so now let's see um the value we have so you can use this color to determine the area of steel you have you can see the maximum we have here is 362.94 that is 362.94 mm squared that is the maximum area of steel required and you can see the color the color is this so you can see every part here all these parts all this part and all this part all this part the area of steel varies between 332 to 362 so um so instead of checking all these one by one what i'm just going to do is i'm going to take the maximum value which is 362.94 so i'm going to use this value 362.94 let me just approximate it to 363 mm squared that is my area of steel required for this whole slab let me use it like that okay instead of taking it one by one you can actually take it one by one but i prefer to use it like this okay so 363 mm squared now i'm going to close this and then i will confirm the area of steel that is provided after this analysis and design so let's close this just click on okay all right um you can see that there is no rebar that has been provided yet just right click and then you go to arrange steel bars click on update steel bars now um you can see the rebar here the rebar here I have is um y12 um first of all let me change it to y8 um let me go back to um analysis go to beauty analysis and then you can go to edit material you go to slab rebar diameter I'm just going to use um Y8. Click on Y8 alone. Then click on OK. OK. And then you close. Now you can right click again, arrange steel bars so that I can update it. So you click on update steel bars. Okay. So that would have been updated. Now let's check our table before I can confirm this. Let's check the table. Now I'm going to use this one because this has to do with spacing. Now I'm using Y8. Don't forget that the area of steel required is 363 mm squared. So this is Y8. Now let me look for, let me start from the back. This is 168. I can't use this. This is less. This is 183. I can't use it. It is less. 201. I can't use it. 224. I can't use it. 252. I can't use it. 287. I can't use it. 335. I can't use it because 363 is greater than 335. So I can't use this. Now 402. 402 is greater than 363 so i can use 402 so that means if i am using y8 the spacing i am expecting it to provide is 125 so it should be providing y8 at 125 mm spacing so if it provides this that means it does not over design it is accurately designed if it provides higher than this that means it is under designing if it provides lesser than this that means it is over designing so the accurate design should be 125 mm spacing so let's check that now let's check this particular one now what do we have you can see y8 at 125 mm spacing so that is very accurate you see it here y8 125 mm spacing no over designing no under designing so this is accurate now let me try to uh, make another um change let me go to bd analysis and then edit material um let me go to slab one more time and then i'm going to change it from y8 i'll change it to y10 click on okay okay let me close this now let me update that again just right click and then you go to arrange steel bars update okay now let's check the table again to confirm now if i'm using y10 keep it at the back of your mind that the area of steel required is 363 so if i'm using y10 let me start from the back if I'm using Y10, I can't use 262 because that is less than. I can't use 285, that's less than. I can't use 314. I can't use 349. But I can use 393 because 393 is greater than 363. So if I'm using Y10, I'm expecting it to provide what? 200 mm spacing. 200 mm spacing. That will be the accurate design. Okay? If it is providing less than 200 mm, that is over design. If it's providing more than 200 mm that is under design but it has to provide 200 mm to be accurately designed so let's see if it is 200 mm spacing 
now let's see white 10 you can see this is white 10 at 200 mm white 10 at 200 mm spacing so this is accurate this is accurate it is not under design neither is it over designed let me check um another river um go to bd analysis and then edit material slab one more time and then i can use more than 12 mm so this will be the last bar i'll be changing click on ok and then let's close this now let's update update steel bus okay so let me check the steel table again so if i'm using y12 keep it at the back of your mind that it says 363 so 363 377 is greater than 363 so i can use 377 however 377 will give me 300 mm spacing so 300 mm spacing will pass 300 mm spacing will pass okay however there is a tradition that um, whenever you are designing a slab and that rebar you want to provide is a main bar you shouldn't provide more than 250 mm spacing you shouldn't provide more than 250 mm spacing but if it is a distribution bar if it is a distribution bar you can provide 300 mm spacing okay so let's see what it has provided um white off okay so you can see y12 is 250 mm spacing that is the spacing it has provided and that is exactly what i've said you know it is very rare and it is even unacceptable to have um something beyond 250 mm for your main bar for your main bar even though 300 mm is adequate it is um you know it is ideal for you to not use more than 250 mm spacing and that is what this program is also insinuating so um the conclusion for this review is that the slab design is not under design neither is it over designed in fact it is accurately designed it is accurately designed so if you enjoyed this um review kindly give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you give it a subscription and thanks for always coming thanks for watching